You're watching News 4 at 5. Only on 4, a man in Laurel is sharing his heartbreak after the tragic and sudden death of his father. Early Saturday morning, a driver barreled into an apartment building on K Court, killing 56-year-old Freddie Tena Silva. Investigators say that Tena Silva was asleep in his bedroom during the impact. News 4's Mauricio Casillas spoke with Tena Silva's son about how he wants his father to be remembered. This massive hole left in the aftermath of the deadly crash doesn't compare to the void that's left in Edgar Tenas Gonzalez's heart. In an instant, his hard-working and caring father's life came to a devastating end. Me, me siento todavía en shock. Edgar says he's still in shock, trying to process his father's death. I spoke to him outside the Guatemalan consulate in Rockville. He spent the day trying to figure out the next steps in repatriating his father's remains to his native country. He was joined by his brother Juan, who was also inside the apartment during the collision. I thank God because my brother wasn't hurt, and he's still alive, Edgar says. Laurel police say they're still working to piece together the events leading up to this deadly collision. We're looking to into any possibility as to why this vehicle left the roadway. Um, and of course, as the, at the conclusion of the investigation, if there's any charges that are appropriate, they will be filed at that time. Tenas Gonzalez says he hopes his family can find justice. His father spent more than two decades in Laurel and was most recently working at a nearby car wash. He leaves behind a wife and five children. He sends a hug to his father up above and prays that he's resting in peace. The family has set up an online fundraiser to help with funeral and repatriation costs. Mauricio Casillas, News 4.